Finishing with a 500 average in the Big Ten standings in 1957, the University of Michigan provided plenty of football thrills. Jimmy Van Pelt, number 24, senior quarterback, is a great ball player. A pass completion here to M. Dave Bowers in the Northwestern game. Both Van Pelt and Bowers will graduate. Michigan had one of the nation's most spectacular runners in their senior, number 43, Jimmy Pace. This guy is a fantastic football player. A sophomore on the Michigan squad who seems destined for greatness is their phenomenal quarterback, Stanton Noskin, number 27. He's a real cool boy for only a sophomore. Here's a long heave in the Minnesota game. Dave Bowers makes the catch. Noskin to Bowers. Noskin's got two more years. In addition to his great running ability, Jimmy Pace is a fine pass receiver, too. This is Van Pelt throwing, and Jimmy Pace catching with a one-handed grab. And he got in there for the touchdown. Iowa made the mistake in their game of punting to Mr. Pace. Watch him now as he takes this punt against Iowa on his 35. This is Jim Pace, and we'll let his action describe best for you how well he can go. He graduates this year. It'll be a long time before they have another one in the Big Ten any better than that fellow. And though Pace leaves, Michigan fans can look forward to the return of Noskin and his pass catcher and Gary Prost. This is Van Pelt throwing. Now watch Prost. There's Big Gary. Down he goes. He has the drive and the desire to be a real All-American. Michigan of 1957.